something. Did I did I get did I stick the landing on your last name? I've been trying to get it right. Yes, I did. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, that, that that's a plus in my book. Remember, I was an old offensive lineman. This is a defensive lineman. Don't want to honk him off. You know what I mean? All right, so we start off here. The Marvin, take me back to that moment when you see the 412 area code come up on your phone. What was it? I mean, I was sitting down on the couch, just looking at the and I was just like, I'm going to be in San Francisco, Texas. I was like, 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 I was did you have any sense? Go ahead. Pittsburgh might be the team, or prior to that, I mean, was it like yeah, there's thirty one other team that you thought might be there? What? Tell me about it. Uh, I had a good team coach in the bar. I had a good team coach at the bar. I didn't make it. I just felt like this was the place. You know, I felt like this was the pick. You know, and I was just was waiting for it. I wanted to be here, so I'm enjoying this. I'm excited to be here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There you, go. There you, go. Now, you gotta love Coach Dunbar because he was a heck of a player back in his day. Yeah. Matter of fact, sometimes we'll have to tell some stories, but not now, okay? But no, he's, he's a great defensive line coach. You seem to have there, he spoke of having a great natural ability in your first contact. What was it like meeting him, and what was it kind of like? How did you feel that connection went played out? Um, I feel like it was instant connection, you know, so. They were my first pair of players in the draft class. They were good friends and everything, so I just feel like they also played a part of the chemistry that's kind of already there because you know, my first pair of players is real, and since they were two times older, it was just an automatic. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Now, you know, it's funny because you talk about the fact that you had a great career at Pittsburgh. Go to a and Texas a and which, by the way, my son-in-law happens to be a record-holding pitcher for Texas A&M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Kyle Mickelson, who went on to, to play in the, in the minor leagues with, uh, with San Fran. But anyhow, um, Texas A&M, you go there, was it like a journey towards the or Did you always start to have that feeling, I'm going to end up there someday? Uh, you know, I got the offer my freshman year of high school, and it was just the place that I always wanted to go. What? Was it the barbecue or what? Yeah, it definitely was the barbecue. I'm, 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 I'm a man who loves food. Yeah, okay. so, yeah barbecue is something special to my, yeah, to my heart. But you look at Texas A&M, you, you played under that's some serious football. You had a big year last year, had 12 and a half tackles for a loss, and you had eight and a half sacks. You're pretty good at, that's pretty good sack machine. But kind of, what's your favorite pass rush? Uh, I would say uh, London. London. You got a spin, you got an uppercut. Yes, oh my heavens, you can be a handful for some of these guys. Uh, that's yeah, excellent. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, when you look at it now, you played this you played some stand up too, didn't you? Yes, sir. Alright, so you play stand up, you put your hand in the dirt, so you, you kinda of, what do you feel most comfortable? Tell me. Oh, I like that. I love everything about him. He's always played zero to seven since I was little, and it's just like me. How do you feel about playing special teams? Because you know, Coach Tomlin, he always says, I'm sure you become a starter, that's how you pay the rent. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'm on the team, you know, it wasn't starting or anything, but I definitely was always contributing, you know, just, you know, being part of that situation, you know, it's a good thing. Now the first time I laid eyes on Pittsburgh, I came through the Fort Pitt Clinics. And you go through the tunnels and all of a sudden the city explodes in front of your eyes as you come out of there. And, you know, at the point was running the fountain and everything. But tell me what it was like when you come through those tunnels first. Yeah, yeah. 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 And this is a place that's excited to have you. As you probably know, Pittsburgh's kind of noted for its defensive tendencies as well. You know, the Renegade video and all the other things that happen on that. How much do you look forward to being a participant in the sort of energy that you're going to see on Sundays out here? Which I got to tell you, man, it'll rock you. It's going to rock you when you get out there. I definitely will be going out there. I can't wait. So that first game is, yeah. <laughs> <Don't push. laughs>
There's no doubt. Look, hey, the one thing about it is when the running aid video goes up, it, it goes to a dark screen. Now, this has been my experience off of watching it for the last 20 some years, right, as a broadcaster. You're standing there, that goes up, and if the other team is, of course, out there, which it is, the offense is out there on the field, you'll watch them. None of them watch the video. <laughs> Especially the quarterbacks, they turn their back to the video and they don't want to watch it. But the highlights are, you see some of the greatest hits from the defense. How long do you hope before you are able to put your bug up there with a big hit? I will be like that. I the best attribution to the speed. What about your game that you can say, man, I think I can really do this or do that? What don't tell us a little bit about this? Being being switchy, being explosive. Um, can't wait to be able to show you. You come from a big family or a small family? Big family. Or a big family. So as you are taking that 412 or the go phone calls, what was the family? Because to me, you know, even though it wasn't as big a deal back 42, oh, yeah, 42 years ago, <laughs> yeah, I mean, who's counting, right? Who's counting there? But 42 years ago, it was a big celebration amongst the Wolfley team. And I would think for the Leal team in today's NFL, that had to be a magnificent moment. Oh, definitely. It was like one moment everybody's talking, the next moment it's just complete silence. You know, it's just me and the coach talking on the phone. And, then as soon as that car ended, it was loud. <laughs> there was much joyous celebration. I was going to say, I don't imagine social distancing was any part of the process. I was going to call that. You hug it out. You hug it out. What has been your kind of... I know that you, you had a real thing with Coach Dunbar. Mike Town, Coach Dunbar, he's a rare bird. He is a rare cat. He is... Uh, you know, I, I often say this, I've never met anyone who wears leadership like he does. I mean, he wears leadership like water wears wet. I mean, that's who he is. That's just who he is. Tell me what, you're, what you think about him. Um, hey, hey, be careful. Remember, the guy could be listening, right? Uh, good coach. You know, he's definitely one of the best. And I just can't wait to, you know, learn and take wisdom from him and just, you know, just continue my career here and let's just be right beside him and just... This new Super Bowl. He is a motivational type dinner man. I mean, you know, the one thing about it, I can remember is a lot of people they don't they don't hear Mike on the day after the game and I've been around when we were broadcasting from the south side and the TV is gone. You can hear that man's voice a long way down the hall. <laughs> so I know that you gotta be ready, but he is a great motivator, he is a great coach. As I often have said, the Steelers have had two Hall of Famers in a row, Chuck Noll, who I played for, and Bill Cowher, who I actually played against. But uh, the third guy in a row is going to be my time. Two Hall of Fame head coaches in a row. That's pretty magnificent. Your opportunity to go ahead and go ahead and go play for this historic franchise, for this historic, the, the coaches. I mean, just. Three in a row. It's got to be something special. Definitely. Speaks to you. Definitely. Like I said, I just can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait. Absolutely. Well, the folks here, they can't wait because they want to see what your arm is like. So we got some terrible towels here. All right. We're going to test your arm now, tomorrow. All right. Yeah, so you can stand. I'll hold the mic for you. 